man, Don, no matter what I do, it's not coming out the way I'm imagining it. I think I'm piecing this together. I think I got it. You got it? Yeah, I think I got it. I think I know what spirit animal I want to be. Spirit animals again? Yeah, man. <laughs> you keep bringing yeah. this up. But have you ever thought about it? Like, what spirit animal you would want to be? Fine. We will talk about your spirit yeah, animals. Yeah, man. If I was a spirit animal, I would probably be a sexy black panther. Uh, I don't know about that. You know, that's a see my HR compliant. Ah, you know what I mean. Okay, okay I, I get it. I get it. But I, you know what? I got one to top it. Would definitely be a gorilla. You know, just like borderline super saiyan. Nah, uh, I think mine's a little better. Black Panther. I'm swift. I'm cunning. I'm snatching animals out of the trees. He was a silly little monkey. Oh, hey, hey. At least I get to hang out with like cool friends like Tarzan, King of the Jungle. You're over here with like little whippy little Mowgli here. Well, fine. Forget your spirit animals. Get that right. That's what I thought. We're back, Break Room Blitz. Thanks for watching. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. I'm my boy Sean here. We're gonna get right into it. We're gonna talk about Tarzan. Yeah. We went to go see it. Cinemark Theaters. Uh, XD? Just XD. I think it was just yeah. regular. We didn't do 3D. It looked really nice though. It was still pretty good, definitely. Um, so let's get right into it. I guess, uh, so we got uh, Alexander Skargard. Yes. He's the he's Tarzan. He's our hero. He's you know he was really good actually. He was real intense. Yeah, I, I definitely I liked appreciate it. Yeah, that. yeah. I, I mean I can definitely say I was impressed by the acting. That for sure. I felt like he actually lived the moment. Like he had to engulf himself. He had to take on a lot with that role. Definitely. Yeah. 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 So we have uh, Margaret Robbie. Yeah. As our Jane. Oh man, she's hot. She was, she was yeah. awesome. Man. Yeah, she was, uh, she was cool though. Right, she's in Suicide Squad. Coming Suicide up. Squad. Yes. She was in uh, Wolf of Wall Street too. Oh yeah, yeah she was. Yeah. Very pretty. You guys want to see uh, Suicide Squad? Oh, oh no question. Oh, there yeah. is no question about that. That's, yeah. That's so you got, we got list. a little preview oh, about yes. uh, what she's gonna do. You know, I think she. I didn't even recognize her, and I have to look her up. Yeah. To see, like, is this the girl from Suicide Squad? Yeah. I, I didn't know that she was in this movie playing Jane, but like, once I saw her, I was like, wow, that's a pleasant surprise. I didn't know the connection until today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have, of course, Samuel Jackson. He's in all these movies. I feel like he shouldn't be in, but <laughs> yeah. I think he didn't be it. His what he brought was a little different. He wasn't the angry black man. You know, he had like compassion and he had some type of sentiment, and, you know, so yeah. I, I did like what he like brought to Like a Civil War kind of hero. Right. Yeah, there was um, significance to his role. Yeah, definitely for the story. Right. I feel like they wrote his part in there. Like once they got yeah, him, they're like, okay, well, he probably can keep up with everybody, so. <laughs> and the American. <laughs> we're going to make him lag and uh, he'll have to catch up with everybody. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Waltz, mm -hmm. which I love. Love He's him. Like very good. He was awesome in Django. He was in uh, uh, what was that? Uh, Inglorious Bastard. I like his yeah. intellect. You know, he's he has this um, persona that I'm better than you. I'm smarter than you. I can plan better than you. He plays an evil genius almost. Right. Yeah. yeah. He was weird in this one though. Did you see how he was like staring at Jane like from the bottom of the steps? Yeah. He <laughs> he, he added another element, a creeper element. Yeah. To this I'm movie. like, what the <laughs> heck is wrong with you? you know? He was in back of the curtain when they had dinner together. She's like, you know, I can see you, right? Right. And I was like, why is he back? <laughs> yeah. He was pretty creepy in this one. Like, <laughs> he was. And then we have Jaimin Hansu from Push. I'm a stud. Yeah, he's awesome. Uh, he's in um, Guardians of the Galaxy, right? He was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah he was. He was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he he was like in the uh, first like couple minutes when he actually uh, when Star Lord gets that orb, he was like, "Who? Who are you? I'm Star Lord, man." It was brief. I don't think he was in. Any... No, he was brief. Yeah. Yeah, but I think yeah. he's gonna be in part two though. Oh, that would be more. awesome. Yeah, because I love him as a character. Yeah, he's dude. really good. He's a strong actor, man. Yeah. Yeah, that, that I can say for sure. He's yeah. a really strong actor, no matter what I've seen him in. Yeah, he's, he's really stand really out. Yeah. yeah, love it. Yeah. Okay, so you know I like to compare movies. Right. So we got Tarzan, and then we earlier in the year we had Jungle Book. Right. Would you what 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 do you guys think? Is it close? Are they both good? 
I, I, I really like Tarzan for what this was. It was it was something for the grown ups for sure. You know, there were some scary elements and uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, history elements in there. Uh, so I mean, for did me, did you guys I, see Jungle Book? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you finally saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw okay. it. Okay. And, All right. And, and, and I liked it though. It was good. It was really good. You know. Just uh, kind of kiddish. It was definitely for the kids, you know, but something nostalgia for me. As far me. as the animals between the two movies, mm -hmm. you know, which one would you say was better? Which one was more vivid, Vivid, I guess? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have to say Jungle Book probably takes it, uh, yeah. j just because, you know, we got a lot more animals. They're, they were, that's that's all you have, really, yeah. is just all these animals, so you got that to focus on. And then, obviously, in Tarzan, we don't have any, you know, talking from these animals. Yeah. You know, they're just gestures or mannerisms, you know. I right. felt like that is one portion of the movie that actually got me. Yeah. That that portion of that realism, liked? yeah, that there wasn't this talking like you know you were just immediately gonna make this connection and there was gonna be this mm -hmm. verbal right. dialogue, just like a, that interaction, that presence, those, that that respect yeah. amongst human and animal kind of thing. I mean, even the body language, like yeah, um, the body language yeah. when Tarzan actually met his brother. Uh, name's not gonna come to me. But that moment that they made eye contact, yeah, that time. Oh, the was, gorilla brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got yeah. you. That point that they made eye contact, their body language said that they knew exactly what had to happen. Right. That portion I appreciated. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I yeah. liked it. I think, as far as like the graphics, I think they're pretty much on par. Mm -hmm. um, you don't get as many animals, and they're definitely not talking. Right. Um, but. You do get the to me what I think they have a, a good balance. There were some things that are in Jungle Book that I wish were in Tarzan. Some things that were in Tarzan I wish were in Jungle Book. Sure. But I felt like it was a more realistic story mm -hmm. as far as like how animals you know re interacted with Tarzan. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like this was all fun and games. Right. You know, this yeah. is like serious. You know, I'm a gorilla. I'm really the king of the jungle. Right. You just pretend people say you're the king of the jungle. Yeah. But for real, I'm the better animal. Here. Yeah. I, you know? It really did give me a sense of danger no matter what, you know, like right. food pyramid or not, you know, it's just like you, you got like all these predators of this jungle. Yeah. So what about the, the humans? You know, so we have Mowgli in uh, Jungle Book and we have Tarzan. Right. Which one? To me, Tarzan represented someone who grew up in the jungle. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that with Mowgli at all. He he didn't have any definition or anything. So when like his physique, right? His physique. Definition. He's running with wolves, right? So he's climbing trees. He's running through trees. Now Tarzan does the same thing, right. but he looks like that's what he does. Yeah, from he, when he was he's a shredded, kid. he's ripped. He's right, got an eight pack. When Jane is in the tree. <laughs> And sitting there thinking, and then he, he walks up to her and he lifts himself up with one hand. I'm like, dude. <laughs> right, yeah. That is Tarzan. That's someone who lived in the jungle, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think we also have to consider that Mowgli was still relatively young. What was he, maybe 12? Yeah, 13? something like that. You, yeah. know, you know, you're not going to develop like that. Tarzan wasn't overly developed. And that, again, is something that I can yeah. appreciate. He's not... You know, superhero like comic book. No, built. yeah. He's just built, like you said, well enough, like he's been moving. But Mowgli hadn't hit that point, I want to say, of puberty where he's going to develop that way. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was going to be in great shape, but I can't compare those but two. But you've seen kids. Right. You've yeah. seen <laughs> like kid athletes. I have. Right? That look more defined than Mowgli did. Yes, like I said, they look more defined, but they're not going to be Tarzan. By comparison, well, no, right? they're gonna look like an adult, yeah. But you should look like you've been in the jungle since yeah. you were two, yeah, okay. for sure. Not just like plopped in the middle and now we're gonna shoot this movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you guys were you guys bothered by the fact that he talked? I liked it. That Tarzan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't bothered because of the timeline. Tarzan has been in London long enough yeah. to pick up the language and he's been surrounded and submerged mm -hmm. so he can actually speak well enough to articulate everything. So, right. are you yeah. on par with the critics? Um, being that it was kind of not a good movie or that is the feeling that I got so there are obviously portions of the movie that I can definitely appreciate the visual display that you got in the original movie so Tarzan's interaction with the animals um, his initial interaction with the mountain lions was great yeah but once he got to his group his family yeah his tribe yeah. everyone oh oh his uh, the gr his original family yeah his original family yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in the jungle right it's like you should have more like the, right. 
even if you've been separated for a long time, there's going to be something um, emotional about that experience. And I just didn't get that feeling with mm -hmm. what they gave us in the movie. Right. You know, right, I, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. I appreciate that, yeah. But yeah. what I, got I know too. about gorillas or even um, orangutans or whatnot in the jungle, it is, we're a family, but really, I'm just, there's only one boss, one head. Uh, alpha. Alpha. Right. And everyone else does whatever I say. There, that's it. There is no, you know, we're friends and buddies and all this stuff. I'm the king. You're not. If you want to fight? We can fight. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, it, it is pretty ruthless. It's the reason why people don't keep grown chimps. Yeah. They only keep them as kids because they get real aggressive. Yeah. And I know that we're supposed to be family, but I mean... Like, I appreciated that, too, where, like, you know, they, they were giving us elements of what we know as, like, all these different species, right. you know? And then uh, I just kind of wanted a little bit, like, you know, off to the side, you know, kind of, like, you know, fictional, like, okay, we fought, we're good, okay, let's move on, you know, give me a hug here. And they kind of got a sense of that. They kind of did that. that. And, but they, yeah. they didn't go all the way with it. Yeah, and that, that's where I guess, uh, like I said, the bigger problem is for me because I didn't get that feeling. The, that, no there was, that there was something there was afterwards. No like we, right? like I said, yeah. when they first made contact, they both understood what had to happen, and I got that feeling. But what happens afterwards? There has to be some. So you want to still be more like fantasy? I mean, there has to be some incorporation of fantasy because realistically, there's no way that a man survives <laughs> amongst a group <laughs> right. of gorillas. There's no way he survives just that way, and then uh, his posture. Everything will be gone. There has to be some element of fantasy. See, I, I appreciated it because we have all these historical events. I like the movie. Let me just say that. Mm -hmm. It did kind of bother me with the historical events, with the whole colonization, things like that, of Africa. That kind of bothered me, and I was almost like, I'm done with this. Yeah. But it wasn't, you know, I got to see the African tribes fight back, and it wasn't just like they just destroyed everybody and took all their, you know, minerals and diamonds and diamonds and blood stuff. diamonds so right so i was I, I was okay with that so what they're telling me is that we're trying to place tarzan in a more realistic world mm -hmm. we're giving you some historical facts that would have happened during that time they're giving you some uh historical names as far as like king leopold and lords yeah. and all this stuff um even like some political jargon yeah and so I, I there is some type of fantasy because no, he probably would die. Yes. <laughs> but if it did happen, and they're trying to give us this, there is some type of because he he's a lore, you know, he's a, like a, a myth, Tarzan. Mm -hmm. But because he's the only one's ever done, it, so that's why he's such a a, a, a myth, you know. Right. And but there's still a real world, you know. The animals are real; they're not talking. Mm -hmm. You know, we are, you know, still, you know, uh, some type of government, you know, we're trying to um, establish some type of economy, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it put it put Tarzan in a real world for me. So it just made more sense. Jungle Book, you're not going to talk to a panther. It's not going to happen. <laughs> You know, he's gonna Yeah, it's pure fantasy for sure. Right. Yeah. He's gonna eat yeah. you just like anything else. Yeah. So sure. like they they, they they did walk a fine line on this movie, but it was a it was a good medium for me. Yeah, I would have wanted a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, maybe a little bit more fantasy here and maybe a little bit more realism. But yeah, I mean for the elements that they did have, you know, incorporating the history, you know, they're having like this whole, you know, railroad and industry and and they do have, you know, you know, the you know enslaving like these all these different tribes in this movie right. and it's like oh my god you know they're they're really getting to the like h right. historical facts about this it's kind of like walking down as if this line. was real right exactly and this is supposed to be a fantasy movie you know so yeah. i mean i like that i think in order to appeal to larger masses incorporate more of what we know is fantasy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, you're going to every movie the, the jo your job is to prov provoke a feeling or emotion or right. a combination of both. Yes. You know I, they did that? I felt like they gave you a feeling but not enough of an emotion. So like I said, me going in there, I had expectations. Um, but for someone else who's coming in there, they may be looking at it without the perspective of, or understanding of a gorilla. It's like, you know, this is dominion. This is, I'm the alpha. They're going to look at it like, that's his family. It's like, oh my goodness. 
he's not expressing or showing enough of a connection to his family. Oh man, that's that's, that's got to be the massive. I know what you mean. I can't. Yeah. I don't know if I can defend that because it's like you watching a shark movie and you don't know that sharks don't need to see to get you to find you. You don't know that they have a fifth sense. They can you know tell that you have you know those electrical uh, magnetic fields or whatever. They can see that. Yeah. And for you to say, oh, I, the shark, he, he, he didn't he he bit him with his eyes closed. So that that's exactly it. So this is going to be the difference between watching a documentary and watching a theatrical film. Right. Fantasy. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to incorporate that sense of fantasy. And again, it's the demographic that you're actually targeting. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be children to actually watch this. Yeah. Right. And yeah. They, they always, because children don't understand <laughs> sharks, biology, gorillas, biology, their anatomy, their instincts, things like that. They're looking for things that they can relate to. Even if it was just, like I said, that interaction that he had with the mountain lion. So he, as soon as he saw him. He got down, they kind of rub past each other. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can be gone from mountain lions and they grow dramatically over a few months, let alone be gone from them for years and then say, hey, you know what, that's... I saw a YouTube yeah. video about yeah, that. Yeah, they have a guy like that. Right? Yeah, yeah I saw it on YouTube. There's a guy right? who, who, he's walking through the, the safari or not. Has he been, he's been removed for years? Yeah. 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 That's interesting. And he yeah. comes up and that's exactly, I mean, it wasn't exactly, they, they jump up on they the jump road. They jump on the but there but is that playful, interaction. You know? I thought that's why they even incorporated that because people have known about that exactly. that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but the movie is predictable. predictable? It, 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 yeah. It's it's somewhat predictable, but I was still surprised with uh, the way it played out. It wasn't predictable for me. Um, I could have assumed that certain things were going to happen, like you know when he fights the tribe at the end. I was yes. assuming he's gonna just kill the main guy and because you know they're european versus you know africans i was assuming that what they're going to show us is he's going to slaughter them or whatever right but he didn't so that i appreciated that you know they became more friends you know mm -hmm. let me let's get an understanding there was a mistake that happened yeah you know let's just forgive one another right, right and right. move on the enemy, I didn't know that that enemy is my friend kind of thing you know right yeah you know, so it wasn't predictable for me. So if they would have given you that uh, that fantasy, you would have been okay with the movie. I would I would have felt a lot better about the movie. So that one thing that gave it a bad. It's it's not day. just that one thing. Um, like I said, for me, I had the feeling of predictability. I feel like they introduced too many things really early. I like one of the questions that was posed to Jane really early in the movie was, "Do you have a baby?" And it's like, oh my goodness, that's gonna be the end of the movie. My head almost dropped. I don't remember that question. Who asked her that? Um, when they both came to the tribe, uh -huh. and she saw, I don't know what the the uh, lady's name was. It was one but, of the tribe members, the ladies. Yeah, but they saw her child. I want to say, and she asked Jane if her mm -hmm. and Tarzan had a child. Yeah. And that so was then, pretty early in the movie. No, I was and looking at so much other stuff yeah. that I, I guess I wasn't really paying attention. It, it, it was right after he met the lions and they made their way to the tribe. And then that was like the first interaction that exactly. she had with the lady from the tribe. But that doesn't, that doesn't make it predictable because they gave you that. Well, that, that's so what we I mean, know it's going to be happening in there. Most well, movies are. Well, see, when black people survive in Hollywood movies, <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> You know, I'm always expecting him to die. So the fact that he didn't, I was like, oh, yes, he got out. Yeah. You know, because at that time, there was some brutal stuff going on. So I didn't know how real they wanted to make this. Right. So right. I was surprised. I yeah. Everything that happened as far as, like, even, like, the tribes having, you know, like, um, they weren't all, like, angry the way that they show Africans on TV to us. You know, they were, like, smiling. No, I won't be kneeling to anyone. I don't kneel. Oh, the chief, yeah. Do what you have to oh, do. Oh, that I love. He wasn't like, oh, angry. He was like, hey, you know, I'm the chief. Do what, what you got to do. Yeah. You know? And I liked that it was, it was still, you know, not necessarily that he wasn't being, um, like, a pushover. Right. But he was yeah. okay. He was content with who he was to where he's not going to degrade himself to where he probably still going to kill me anyway. Yeah. So this, I'm, I'm good with how I am today. If this is it, then hey. It'll but be, I won't be kneeling. He refused to be moved. Right. right. And, and yeah. I like that. He stood for something. You know, you got to stand for right. something. You know? And you being a chief, you know, the next one up in line, you know, this is how you go out like a chief. You know? Right. I liked it. it. It seemed like they were, you know, all intelligent. They weren't, you know, speaking oh, yeah, like some yeah. 
you know, click languages or whatever. You, you know, know, and that was another thing that did throw me off about it because the other uh, character um, from the other tribe, Dijmon, like, I mean, they, they, he just right out, right out of the gate just started speaking English and he never spoke any of his native tongue. But the, I got that out of the other chieftain. Yeah, you know? that, that was a little weird for me early on in the movie. Yeah, early on. Because yeah. I was like, I mean, all of a sudden he knows English. As soon as he's dropped and they have the interaction with... Yeah. Uh, but how is he going to communicate with the antagonist? Exactly, but they never explained that to us about how he would yeah. communicate, but they did that to the other tribe chieftain because of Jane. And Jane came over and taught them all English, but they didn't necessarily explain the same thing over there on well, his Jane's end. sister taught them. I don't know. <laughs> Jane, <laughs> Jane's sister or, or, or the bad guy, right? <laughs> Jane's friend, the, the organization they're in, she taught them. Yeah, yeah, the bad guy taught them English. Yeah, I felt like that was, a, that, was a, that was a little weird for me early on when there was, like I said, that initial fight. Yes, yeah, like, yeah. Okay, they're dropping, or they invade Africa and immediately, yeah. these people speak their language. Right. Like, where See, the fact that they <laughs> didn't all get slaughtered, they had um, cannons, they had high fire, Machine firepower. Guns, yeah. I, the fact that they didn't get slaughtered, I didn't care about none of that language stuff. I'm just glad they were still alive. <laughs> Guerrilla because they warfare. Were, right, yeah, they were but, clearly yeah. coming to steal some stuff. Well, yeah. you know, I, I appreciated that too because, you know, they had the home field advantage and they live like in this jungle and they are hunters, man. Like, oh, but did you see when he threw the the, uh, the spear? The spear, the and it just kind of yeah. fell. I'm yeah. like, what the heck? I was like, no, dang, they're going to get wiped <laughs> out right now. So funny. And they just kind of unloaded. But then, like, shortly after that, they just, like, took them out. I was like, yes, that's what I wanted. Right. Right there, you know? That part was really like, awesome. Like, sh show them hunting And they were down. huge. They were, like, oh, some real warriors. Football players, man. I'm like, yeah. oh, my gosh, they like that over there? <laughs> man. <laughs> Ripped. Here's another question, though. Um, with someone actually having machine guns and just blasting at you. Do you really make a deal with that one person to find somebody you assume they can find? I think that uh, the, the chieftain's uh, uh, vengeance for wanting to have Tarzan outruled anything else. You know, he just wanted vengeance for his son. So you just come to the assumption, you know, He's well, I think like, as... I, I don't know if he's going to swindle me, you know, kind of thing. But, he's an arrogant... You know, um, he's an arrogant guy, an arrogant, confident, and very pride, uh, prideful pride guy, driven, yeah. and he already thinks that, that I'm impervious to anything that you can come at me, so I'm going to spare your life, I will give you whatever little things you want, because mm -hmm. they're not really worth that much to me, Right. Um, I will do that if you do this for me, I'm still, I have a mentality that I'm still above you, it's like he, so I'm going to just use you for whatever purposes I can. He, he was using um, uh, Christoph Waltz's character, the, the bad guy, uh, his greed to get what he wanted out of him, you know? Right. So you got his pride and then his greed, and then obviously, you know. It wasn't him, about him like I still hate you. I yeah. defeated you, so now you do something for me, and I will give you what you want. You can't come here and just take it, because then you, you found out that yeah. you can't. Yeah. 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 But if you want something, do something for me, because what else are you going to do? Right, you're not gonna come back because you're gonna get whipped on again. In his, in his mind, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so I was okay with that. Yeah. So, like the whole right. point of why Tarzan was going back was to see if there was anything that was you know mess up going on, any slavery going on. Yeah. You know, so he's like, all right, I'll go with you if you're trying for a good cause. You know, so I, I did appreciate that there was some you know sympathy. He, he knew that there was danger involved and all that. He didn't even want Jane going. I think Samuel L. Jackson's mo role in the movie was a bit more important than Jane's to me. Yeah. I felt like she was more supportive than Lee Coley. Mm -hmm. She definitely wasn't a co-lead. Well, I felt like Samuel L. Jackson was in that role. Like, she she is yeah. icing on the cake. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. Because, like, I like icing, though. Like, <laughs> icing makes cake pretty good. <laughs> no, I love icing, too. <laughs> so, for what was that? We got to be the eggs. <laughs> You know, but, uh, yeah, basically, you have to make the bread rise or the cake rise. That's for sure. But I, I felt like his role it was it was significant. It, like they, he, he played they gave a significance. Role. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, he he brought like you know stuff to the table. You know, his assistance to Tarzan. So when you're talking about Samuel uh, Jackson as an actor, though, um, did he have an accent in Star Wars? Did he have an accent in uh, this last movie that he did with Quentin Tarantino? That's what I was no. getting at. Because some people were, when, when, were complaining when did, about that. When does he, Nicolas Cage, or any of these actors...
have it accents, you know? People were complaining about that, and I was like, yeah, but really? that's kind of, that's, that's, that's Sam's thing. Yeah. You want me in a movie? I'm going to do me. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me in there or not? Because I'm Sam. Yeah. And that's what, the, I, that's what I bring. I'm not, yeah. I'm not some southern Sam. Right. I'm just Sam. Right. Would I be an asset or not? But it's Sam. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Sam does what he does. Right. The worst, the, the last resort will be the excuses. It's just Sam. Take right. it. Yeah. It, 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 and you know what? That's what I have to take like every single movie that he does too, because you know, like you said, he he plays like a very angry character most of the time, and I didn't get that out of this one. You know. Right. Uh, if anything, he was just like really uh, pressed to like you know save you know and like re really stay on track of this movie. It didn't take me out of the movie, so. Right. He wasn't his 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 old self. He yeah. wasn't you know MF this and Batman <laughs> right. and all that. Yeah. You know. So I guess that the most um, aggressive he got was at the at the end with the machine gun. Oh right? yeah. That yeah. was pretty much about it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, he was pretty you know he was a different person. He was. Yeah. He was Sam, but he wasn't. Yeah, he was on a mission. And he was a good relief. I yeah. mean, I want to say he was the only comic. What do you guys think about the fight scenes? Were they believable to you guys? Yes and no. Yes and no. Yeah. Man, yes and no. every turn you... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I can tear this movie apart if we actually had the movie playing as we right. speak. We gotta but do I mean, <laughs> But I mean, I just, I just, I realistically can't see people walking in as... A full army with machine guns, and these people would come out of water. Uh, guerrilla warfare works to an extent. Don't ever confuse that. I mean, there have been wars won on guerrilla warfare alone, but I just didn't see it in that small space. Some heavy casualties. Yeah, not really. Yeah, there weren't enough. So, but that, it, historically, that's already happened. So, like I said, like the Zulu tribe got yeah. they defeated the you know the British that came to try to. To conquer them, but we have to remember the environment as well. So they use their their terrain to their advantage. We're talking about people in the middle of what a canyon, basically. Yeah, like a canyon. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are pretty yeah. close quarters. Yeah, to be working with people. Military who have tactics, shoot. you know, you have height to your advantage. Then you know, if you control the air, then you control the land below it, and that's right. kind of like what. And they then confidence to, definitely always plays a part. You're in a new environment. I know what I'm doing. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. I this is probably not the first time I've even seen Europeans try to come get our diamonds. So we already have you know the plan laid out. Mm -hmm. So to me, and, and when you are in close quarters, it allows you to pick apart more people. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at once. And obviously, like you know, that was one battle that they had in the movie, which was I, I thought it was pretty cool because like you know. They kind of lost some, but it was just to lure them in for a bigger trap ambush. And then you had the other tribe where they pretty much rounded them all up. You know, it was pretty easy. They were killing whoever they needed to. And they even had scouts on the lookout that, you know, obviously kind of failed because they right. had, like, uh, the military advantage, you know? Well, like I said, it, it was a yes and no for me from the beginning. But yeah. it was just, I feel like there should have been more casualties. Even if you're blindly shooting a gun, mm -hmm. if... You're just shooting, 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 and there's anybody in the vicinity? Yeah. Somebody's probably going to go down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what's the point of fighting one-on-one -on -one if you have a group? What do you mean? To, uh, to, to if my chief, my chief is supposed to be the toughest guy yes. in the whole uh, tribe. Tri yeah. Yes. So in order for me to respect him as this one head guy, he needs to be able to take on whoever steps up to him. So you wait for him to come to the end of his journey, and you know this. Lure him in with gunshots fired at him, everything else, or you to catch him at that point. That seems kind of uh, the opposite of honorable. I don't yeah. want to catch him while he's at his weakest. That's not going to show how strong I am. Right. Yeah. I catch him in while he's fatigued and weak, and then I show how strong well, I am. Well, they don't know what the plan <laughs> yeah, was. Well, as soon as he gets off the boat, he's going to get captured and brought directly to them. They didn't know that they were going to, you know, jump off the boat go on their own little path to where now people got to hunt them down and he's going to have to fight the gorilla. They didn't know that part. It was just supposed to be when he gets on to, to uh, the dock, grab his ass and <laughs> let's take and bring him to me. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't know that he was going to you know venture off somewhere. Yeah. I like the fighting. I like the fighting between him and the gorilla, Tarzan and the gorilla. Now, did you believe that? No. No. <laughs> no, don't tell me you believe, believe what? that. There's no way he would have survived that. 
a guerrilla attack. It's like his brother. It if is. the if he wanted to kill him, he would have for sure. Let me let me this let me just say it like this. It was explained to me by medical practitioners. It doesn't take much weight to break your ribs. Powder pressure at a specific point will break the ribs, and you have breathing issues at that point. You right. can actually puncture a lung. Your lungs, yeah. And you mean to tell me a gorilla laid into his back, not to kill him, but to hurt him, yeah. and he walked away saying, you know what, you might get an infection, let me stitch this up? Yeah. No. Gotta, He's going to be broken to pieces. There's right. no way he walks away. I, I don't think that's... So now you want, you want realism. <laughs> you want the realism. We went from, I need that fantasy, to actual practitioners telling you how much weight can no, break well, your ribs. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying because of how aggressive the scene was. It was really aggressive. It was really it aggressive. It was really aggressive. There's no way he walks away from that scene. Like, But did you see yeah. his, the scene where he shows you why, how strong his hands are now from, you know, right. walking on all right. fours? And, 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 and I could appreciate, you know, Obviously, that was not the first, uh, you know, fight that he had with any of these gorillas. Maybe growing up, you know, Tarzan was beat up a bunch of times and play fight or whatever and broke bones. He's definitely stronger now as a full-grown man. Right. But full-grown man versus a full-grown gorilla, a, a, a alpha gorilla, you know, and they were just like wailing on him. Yeah. I, I want to see some bruising. I want to see some more cuts and and maybe some more blood. He's pretty bruised. He, he needs he needs more time to heal. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of took me out of it. And I was like, no way he could survive that. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> and maybe to all the humans because he was kicking him out of the jungle. You have to have but some type of even the initial impact, like those two going head to head. Oh right, it the... was over. <laughs> Yeah. It, it was over. Yeah, but it wasn't like they made it seem like he had a chance, though. No, that portion I can appreciate. And I'd exp I express to other people uh, as well. So you, when you see the trailer, you see these two people coming together. No, Tarzan does not even begin to compete. No. Right, yeah. at but, all. He's a little more nimble, a little more quick. He, but as far as, like, brute force, yeah. there was no way he was ever going to yeah. win. There was no way he was competition, no. there, there, there He needed to be carried out on a stretcher. <laughs> That's how it felt. It just you, looked, if you it, move his it, body, his brother it, though. It was a furious attack. He could though. have killed him. It was aggressive. Yeah. Even at the end, he gives a little. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that. That, that was awesome. Like little punk, right? <laughs> little bro. Like, all right, no, get up. Yeah. Let's go. Like, all right, you're done. Right. I love that. I mean, those, those portions, like I said, I, I, I enjoy it. But it's just like I said, with that scene being so aggressive, it was so aggressive. There's no way he could have walked away from that. Yeah. The next day, the next week. What I felt like was, uh, what was that Leonardo DiCaprio movie when he had the interaction with the bear? Um, oh, um, Reverend? Reverend. Reverend. Yeah. Reverend. Yeah. Reverend. 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 Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That interaction and response that he had just from tearing up his skin. Right. I felt like it was the equivalent of what Tarzan should have had with that brutal beating. Yeah. Not even, yeah. With, the, not even with just tearing him apart. Yeah. Just with how brutal the beating was. There's no intent to kill you. I don't want to hurt you really, really bad. I was really anticipating like him, like uh, Sam Jackson. Sure. He's gonna have to like, like take him away, or, or yeah, killing his brother, you know. But like, you know, obviously when that didn't happen, I was just like, okay, he's on the ground right now. Uh, are they gonna like, you know, heal him with some like jungle herbs or something? You know, <laughs> it's like, are they gonna bring him to a spiritual healer or something? You know, like to show us something. But no, I mean, he just got up and and you know they show him stitching him up with the ants. Which was really cool yeah. too, because I've actually seen that on a, a, a show called Dual Survivor. Yeah, I see this guy got cut, and you know, one of the guys stitching him up with the ants. Because you know? I'm like, okay, hold on. Okay, I get the fact that they're gonna clamp. Yeah. And you're gonna kill them, and they're gonna stay in that position. Yeah. But where's the disinfectant comes in? Like, are they? Okay, disinfectant's another yeah. thing. Because like, <laughs> that's the first thing he said. He's like, "This is gonna be affected or something to that sense." Yeah. Right. Gonna stop this from being affected. Yeah. And I would yeah. imagine it would be from a, uh, the teeth, the mouth of a gorilla. I, probably I, not I think, that. I, I know he was chewing on some stuff and putting it on, and it kind of looked a little green. And I couldn't tell if that was from the ants right. or or from what. But uh, yeah. Uh, there's no way he heals in time. He's like Wolverine, man. Hey, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had I've had bruises. Yeah. That had me walking bad for a week. Right. Just lingering. Though. Have you grown up? In, grew up in the jungle. <sighs> I've seen Anderson Silva in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a main guy. Thank you. <laughs> That's enough for me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's All enough right. for me. Fine. Okay. So. 
Let's go with the verdicts. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. We'll start with Sean. So what's your verdict? Out of yeah, 10. One out of 10. Out of 10, yeah. I give this a four, four and a half. Man, four, four, four and, and a half. half. So, so you won't be watching it again. One. No. Yeah. Wow. It's like one and done. One and done. That's enough for me. Yeah. I mean, uh, like, for me, I, I saw the trailer. I thought the movie was going to be great. Um, you know, it wasn't as great that I thought, but it was really good. Like, I really liked this movie. It was better than, uh, I think, Independence Day it was, like, one of the other ones. Um, mm -hmm. It was a fun movie. It was a good movie. Um, I would have to give it, like, uh, you know, 7 out of 10. All right, I think, that's, I think 7 out of 10 is fair. Yeah. I would probably rate it about... 7.5 and I wanted to give it a 7.5 <laughs> because and like I said there were some things that you know I didn't like you know the historical parts did bother me a little bit I can't help it so they got a point taken off of that for sure um, they got a point for me because of that they got oh, a point taken off it, that still got a 7.5 for me yeah because I mean there was some, I mean, it's not a perfect movie it's definitely not a 10 you know it's not a civil war you know I even like X-Men better than, than it but it was still as far as uh, Tarzan, which I've never been interested in Tarzan. It's never interested me at all. Even because, you know, they even brought, like, you know, when he's, like, howling, oh, whatever. Yeah. I liked the first one. When they did the second time, I was like, okay, it was cheesy. I mean, it's not, even they even had, like, a, I a, liked it twice. a reference. You did? I liked it twice. He was like, hmm. Because they thought, thought that he was, was dead, and then he busts out again. Oh. It's a corny yell. It's a corny yeah, howl. Man. It's just like, uh, you know, 007, you got that. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> but that's still cool, though. <laughs> but it's corny. The, howling, the way he did it just wasn't, it was corny. It, it was a stable. They me, had to throw it in they there. They shouldn't have done it twice. Just one time to give reference one to too the many. original. Exactly. <laughs> um, but as far as, like, a story from beginning to end, I felt like it was a complete story. It wasn't like... They left any cliffhangers, or you know, there's gonna be a part two, or this is the story, and right. that's it. Yeah, if there's gonna be something that. else, they're gonna create something totally different, right? But as far as what we're giving you, this is the complete story. They were on a mission, they accomplished it. I don't see them making a sequel, there doesn't need to be a sequel, right? Um, at all. And, and, and the story the whole way through, it was easy to follow. Um, for me, yeah, they jump all over the place. I, I don't need to watch another origin story. I'm over those. Yeah, I'm and, tired of origins. And I'm just the flashbacks flashing. that they had were enough origin for me. For me, it was good. Yeah, I would, I would, I almost want to give it an eight, but probably I'd rather watch it again and see if I want to give it an eight to see, you know, to watch it for like little details. I was really just watching it and I got immersed in whatever me was too. going on. Yeah, yeah, and that's. Another reason why I gave it a good rating because I was immersed. I was there. All if right. I, if I forget what I'm thinking, it's just I'm having fun with it. If I'm ever like, what is happening? Why are they doing this? Then that's a problem. Yeah. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't feel like that. You know, so I had to give it a seven point five. You gonna stick to your four? I still took to stick to my four, four and a half. Um, like what's seven. another four for you? You this first time on here, so what's another four for you? Another four for me. This is really hard. I mean, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the most recent movie, that was probably. Oh. Another low for me. Another you compared four. it to the Turtles. I didn't see that one because I just knew it was bad. Seen that either, anyway, yeah. I, I'm, the I'm only, waiting on it. The <laughs> only part of that movie that I could actually enjoy was Bebop and Rocksteady. They were the only reason really? that they were able to That's get That's the only reason I want to see the movie. But all right, I'm out. I'm DeAnthony. Alan. Sean. And uh, we're out of here. Like, subscribe, share us with your friends. It all, it all counts. We need as much help. We're just starting. So let us know what you think. Comment. Uh, express anything that you guys want us to do, anything that you guys want us to stop doing, um, because you know we want to, you know, please our fans. So, all right, we're out. Peace. Peace. Hey, Conch. Yo. So, I can't really figure it out for myself, but if you had a mutant ability, what would it be? Huh. I never thought of it. I could tell you, but. So you want to have cardboard growing out your hands with a cardboard box on your head? Dude, it's Weapon X! Ka chink ka chink snick it snick it. You shall not pass. Dude, just let us in. You shall not pass. Jeez, jeez, dude.